Today we mark the 15th anniversary of one of the saddest moments in our nation's history. And even after a decade and a half, the yearning, indeed the need for an enduring connection with the victims of the terrorists of terrorist attacks of September the 11th remain strong. To be clear, that longing for a vital and meaningful way to preserve the legacy of the heroes of 9-11 strikes the depths of our souls. In fact, it is the reason that we have come together for this seaside pilgrimage once again. Today we will hear from members of the clergy as well as compelling speakers, Kerry Kiefer Viverito and Jeffrey Morgenstern. Kerry Kiefer Viverito is the sister of FDNY hero firefighter Michael Kiefer. Michael died saving the lives of others on 9-11. Life saving was nothing new to Michael. Prior to his career as a firefighter, Michael was a lifeguard on this shoreline and a volunteer firefighter. Nancy Morgenstern was an avid bicyclist, a person of devout Jewish faith and a respected leader in the world of finance as an employee of Cantor Fitzgerald. Her brother Jeffrey has been a champion of his sister's continuing positive impact upon others through the Nancy Morgenstern Memorial Fund. As an emblem of the timeless and enduring influence of the heroes of 9-11, Hempstead Town will be building a permanent September 11th memorial at this beach. We will never forget the heroes of September the 11th. Their legacy lives on and their spirit touches each and every one of us today. I want everyone to remember what a remarkable human being my brother was. How he ran into those towers with the knowledge that he may not come home in order to save complete strangers. And he did just that because there are thousands of people who are home with their families at this very moment because of the sacrifice that my brother made that day. I want people to teach their children to look up to people like Michael, someone who put his faith, family, and love of life above everything. The anniversary of 9-11 reminds us that we are faced with evil on a daily basis that never seems to abate. We constantly hear of new terrorist attacks all over the world. My sister Nancy had this uncanny ability to always find the good in people. It is not uncommon to meet people who, by the virtue of what they have accomplished or by the way they conduct themselves on a continuous basis, have earned the admiration and love of those that they associate with. What is very uncommon, however, is to meet somebody evoking these feelings in such a broad spectrum of society as my sister Nancy did. More and more, I am proud to be born and raised in the United States of America, land of the free, and it is still home of the brave. U.S. Senator John Kerry said in 2004 of 9-11, it was one of the worst day that we have ever seen, but it brought out the best in all of us. As our nation faces different challenges today, may we be always at our best. May we be always willing to help our fellow man, and may we never back down for the best tomorrow. God bless you and God bless America. If there was anything good that came from this tragedy, it is as Supervisor Santano reminded us, how Americans of all kinds rallied to help one another, united in that moment in ways that felt unprecedented. While the dangers of the world we live in are all too real, let us resolve to never give the terrorists the victory they seek. With God's help, we can stand against them until we defeat them. The thing that sticks in my mind and will forever is after a long night or a long day of working with the rescue workers, we'd get in our trucks and we'd drive out of the closed perimeter. But just as you would get outside that closed perimeter, there'd be people lined up West Side Highway with signs that say thank you. They'd run over to your car with a bottle of water or maybe something to eat. And one day, I remember early on, 
I rolled down my window, they ran over with a bottle of water, and all of a sudden they handed me this sandwich. It was wrapped in plastic, it's in foil, and it had a message on the front of it. It just said, thank you. Thank you for what you're doing. Abby, age nine, Greenwich, Connecticut. It was the best soggy peanut butter and jelly sandwich I ever had. But yet that was the power of one, because each and every day, it wasn't just for a day or two that people would gather out there to make sure that rescue workers were taken care of. It was each and every day for months. Thank you everyone for attending our program. God bless all the heroes of 9-11. God bless all those who perished on that terrible day. God bless all of you, and most importantly, God bless America, which is the last best hope for mankind on Earth. With the light from above, from the mountains to the prairies, to the oceans, white with foam, God bless America, my home.